first awakening. I was on R and R at Da Nang and I fell asleep on the beach. Got terrible sunburn. But um while I was lying there getting absolutely as drunk as a skunk, I watched these large Exxon ships and carriers and uh, transport ships carrying IBM equipment, large, huge crates. In, in a war zone. All traveling north. If you know your map of geography, and as a military man, I, of course, knew what, where the north was. Um, at Da Nang, we were at the very tip of uh, North Vietnam. So these boats were all going north. So I bothered myself enough to, before I left Da Nang, I was still on R&R. And sunburn, probably way too drunk, stopped a full bird colonel in his entourage and asked if I could ask him a question. They were all over me. I thought they were going to kick my tail. And you were inebriated and while you were doing I was inebriated. <laughs> just the same thing. <laughs> but he told everybody to be quiet and stand down. He just looked at me and said, come over here. What, what's your problem? And I told him what I saw. And I said, I need to understand this. I told him I was in the 101st Airborne. I was working with Mercs out of Fubai. And we were killing people. I said, no, I need to understand this. And he said, all right, I'm going to tell you. And he did. He told me exactly the truth of the matter. And it was a horrible thing to face as a 19-year-old soldier fighting for my country. What did he say? How did he say it? He said, they're going north because we're not really at war with North Vietnam. This war is a joke. The general said? It was a full bird colonel. Colonel. But he said, the war is a joke. He said, we're not, we're not really here to fight the Vietnamese. This is about China. This is about Russia. This is, this is geopolitical. Right? He said, they're our allies. We're supplying them with oil and equipment, and we haven't stopped trading with the North, North Vietnam ever, and we never will. He said, if we wanted to stop North Vietnam, we'd mine high bomb harbor and just bomb them into the Stone Age. Yeah. It'd be over. He said, we have no intention of doing that. And after I stood there and looked foolish, he said, give me your name rank. I want to know who you are and where you're stationed. He said, what do you want? I said, well, now I want out. <laughs> I said, I want to become a crew chief under, uh, with AH-1G Cobras. 19 I don't years want to sell gunships anymore. Wow. Gutsy. So I did. I got transferred. I got, my MOS was automatically changed, and I was kicked upstairs. And my career has been completely different ever since. I would guess so. What would you, know, you... you know, those are the questions that, in truth, if you have guts enough or are inebriated enough to ask, there are men that will stand tall, answer your question, and look at you and go, you're the only one that's ever asked that question. I'm amazed he gave you the answer. And he promoted me. He saw to it that I was promoted, changed my MOS, and I got straight out of combat. Well, not completely, because my entire unit did get wiped out towards the end of oh, my tour. Sure really it, it didn't work out entirely perfect, but let's put it this way. It changed my perspective about what my country is and what my government does versus what our perception is, whether you're in the military or out there as a civilian. For instance, the Russians have not attempted to shoot down any of our U.S. drones, but did you know that they have flown up next to them? Oh, yeah, I had that story track? right before you came on. That yes. Was three episodes already, at yes, least. Three episodes already. Now, if they wanted to, they could shoot them down. And here's the sad part. They're using their drones to track ISIS members. They actually got them on YouTube, posted on YouTube, watching ISIS members planting IEDs at Syrian mosques, which they then were intending to blow up and blame it on the Russians. Oh, my God. But not only did the Russians film it the entire time, they went in, shut down the IEDs, and killed the ISIS members by putting troops on the ground and killed them. They just killed them and ended it. Now, we could be doing the same thing. If we wanted... But that's never been what our government that was never the has intent. been about. What, been lied to. what would be the right thing for us to do? 